Hi, my name is Michel Chabreau. I am with the product management leadership team here at Wind River. Today, I would like to talk about containers and how the technology can change embedded software. Our vision, as we look at the intelligent market, is to enable our customers, you, to build better software faster. And equally important, to enable the management and operation of this software in the field once it's deployed. We all know that containers play a large role in a variety of IT systems, including in the DevSecOps pipeline. And Winriver is no exception. We make extensive use of containers to develop our software. What about containers at the intelligent edge? What do we mean? What does it look like? So let's use a fighter jet as an example. The fighter jet has a lot of computers um, to do a variety of tasks, the mission computers, the flight management system, weapon system, radars, etc. Each of his computer runs on a platform with potentially a different operating system. You will see VxWorks, you will see Linux, and probably others. Now the interesting question is, how do we accelerate the deployment of software on such a large system? How do we make it uniform so that there is no workflows that change from system to system? Picture having an edge cloud in this fighter jet, ready to serve the software for the various subsystem. Imagine that this fighter jet is also connected to another edge cloud and that connection allows you to push information, push software update, manage your software, orchestrate your software as you see fit. This is where we're going. This is the vision that we want to get to. And in order to do that, we are introducing the support for OCI compliant containers in VxWorks, which gives you the ability to use the same type of cloud infrastructure, the same kind of tooling the same type of workflow as you would use for any other application in a more traditional IT type of environment. So we have containers for Winover Linux. That should not come as a surprise. We also have with our Winover Cloud Platform, a hardened edge solution. And now we are introducing the support for OCI containers in VxWorks, closing the loop enabling the deployment and management of application across heterogeneous system using a unified technology containers. In this demonstration, we're going to assume that a system has been deployed with a tactical application. In this case, a simple Python web server serving pages onto the web browser that we will consider that to be the application traffic. I will simulate the need for an in the field update and I'm going to do that manually and that update consists in killing the existing application shutting it down making sure that it doesn't work anymore retrieving the new version from a container registry I will be using docker hub for this demonstration but it could have been iron bank or any other container registry deployed at an edge and pull the container from that registry and restart it with the new version of the application. As we described in the previous slide, here's the actual setup uh, for the demonstration. On the left-hand side, there's VxWorks running with the container uh, being deployed in the factory. And that translates into what we could see is a web server version 1.0, and it just serves the web pages as a way to simulate application traffic. As we also discuss, we're going to simulate the logic of the container being updated. So at this point, the system knows that there is a new version of the application to be deployed. And so we're going to shut down the existing uh, web server. And we can verify that it has been shut down because now from the web browser, I cannot get uh, the traffic anymore. We can also simulate the logic of retrieving the application, but just to make sure, 
I have posted on Docker Hub a new version of the containers, and it took me about nine days to do all the testing and the validation. And obviously, that could be any registry, the Iron Bank being definitely one uh, we envision having in the near future. As we know the container is available, we can now pull it directly from the running system. So VxWorks at the edge, right, is going to pull an actual OCI container, just like you would do on any system. And obviously for the sake of this demonstration, we can see we're talking to docker.io and now our container has been downloaded. We could envision there's going to be some logic to verify that the container is, has all its data, we're doing all the security checks and all the things that are necessary to ensure that the right software has been pushed. Now, just like we would execute and run another container, Docker Run uh, is a good example here. We're just doing our container, calling our container engine. The container is being spawned and executing. And eventually the application will tell us that it's ready. And now if we reload the page, now we can see that we have our web server version 2.0 with the new uh, application running. So what we have been able to demonstrate is a running VxWorks live system with a container being deployed and we shut down the application or a part of the application. We pulled the new version live on the system and then we restarted the application to provide you know, this update. All of this using an IT type of framework, just like we would do in any other IT environment.